Hello guys, in this video we are discussing a very exciting topic, what is light? Well, when I think about light, I simply think about waves, just like waves in the ocean, carrying little packets of energy. But what is visible light? Visible light is simply a type of electromagnetic radiation. This type of radiation consists of self-propagating waves which are traveling through space and consisting of an electric and a magnetic field component. So if we look at this figure, the blue waves show us the electric component and the red waves show us the magnetic component and they are perpendicular on each other. Well, I said that visible light is just a type of electromagnetic radiation. What other types are there? For example, radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, ultraviolet light, x-ray, and even gamma rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation just like visible light. Similarly to all other waves, light is characterized by frequency and wavelengths and also a speed. The speed of light is actually a constant. It is the speed with which light travels in a vacuum and it is 3 times 10 to the 8th meter per second. This is the fastest speed in the universe. With this speed it would take just a little bit over 1 second to travel from the earth to the moon and it would take just a little bit over 8 minutes to travel from the earth to the sun so it is very very fast okay so what is a wavelength wavelength is a distance over which the waves shape repeat it is denoted with the greek letter lambda and the frequency is simply the measure of how often these waves repeat per unit of time denoted with the greek letter mu and they are connected through the speed of light. So let's take a look at these two waves right here. So let's call this wave number one and this wave number two. Let's find the wavelength first. Let's find the shape at which the wave repeats. So if we start right here, we can see that the wave shape repeats here, right, at these points. So the distance between two of these peaks is the wavelength. Now, if we look at the second wave, we can see that actually the wavelength is larger, right? Now, if we define this distance traveled by light as, let's say, one second, then we can figure out the frequency. So how often the waves repeat per one second. So in wave one, we can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight repetitions. In wave two, we have one, two, three, four repetitions. So this means that as my wavelength increases, my frequency will decrease, which makes perfect sense because if we multiply the wavelengths by the frequency, we will get a constant, the speed of light. Okay, so let's take a look at the so-called electromagnetic spectrum. This spectrum shows us the different kinds of light depending on the frequency and the wavelengths. So as we go this direction, we are going to increase the frequency. And as we go uh, left to right, we are going to increase the wavelengths. As we said, they are inversely proportional. At really, really long wavelengths, we have the radio waves, which can be as huge as buildings or even planets. Then, as we decrease the wavelengths, so increase the frequency going this direction, we will arrive to microwaves, which are approximately a couple centimeters long. Then we go to infrared radiation and to the visible light, this tiny, tiny part of the huge electromagnetic spectrum. 
our eyes evolved to detect the kind of light that is most strongly emitted by the sun. And our eyes can detect the different wavelengths based on the different colors. So red color has the longest wavelengths right here. And then as we go to this direction, the wavelengths decrease as we go to orange, yellow, green, blue, and at the end, violet which has the shortest wavelengths. And then it makes sense that in the electromagnetic spectrum, the next type of light is actually ultraviolet light because it overlaps with the violet color of the visible spectrum. So here we have UV light. Then if we go into even shorter wavelengths or higher frequencies, we get to X-rays and gamma rays. Okay, I hope this makes sense. We'll talk more about light in the next video. See you there.